Are you interested in booking an Airbnb for Medellin, Colombia, or for anywhere else for that matter? In this video, I'm going to show you how and offer three tips that I use to find the perfect location for the perfect price. Hi all, thanks for watching my videos. I wanted to take a moment right now to see if I can get everyone who likes my videos to pause the video right now and select like. Also, if you'll click the subscribe button and click the bell, it will alert you every time I post a new video. Currently, I have 75 video, I'm, I'm sorry, 75 subscribers. I started approximately two and a half months ago and hope, I'm hoping to have 100 subscribers by the end of this month and hopefully 1,000 by the end of the year. I know I have work to do, so please comment below, give me suggestions, tell me what I'm doing good, what I'm not doing good, or any feedback at all is welcome. But if you will, stop the video right now and click like. That definitely helps me. Thank you so much. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time it is where you're located. Uh, today we're going to go over Airbnb, how to use Airbnb, and offer a few tips that I use to get the best place for the best dollar. So first let's go and search for Airbnb, go ahead and choose it. I'm doing a screen capture, so uh, it may be a little slower than normal. I'm already logged in, looks like. Yep, already logged in. So let's go over to the left-hand side. Let's decide where we're going to go. I already have, it saves your recent searches, too, and the dates that you chose for that. So let's go in and do it again, though. Medellin, Medellin, Antioquia, which is the name of the state. Um, <clears throat> you can be more defined in your search and choose El Poblado or certain neighborhood, neighborhoods or Envigado, Bejo, Belen, but I'm going to choose the basic Medellin, Antioquia. Uh, the dates I'm going to choose, let's choose the beginning date, almost like choosing for a flight until I'm going to choose exactly a month. The difference is four weeks or more is considered a month on here. So uh, a lot of locations will give you a discount because you've chosen uh, to stay for a longer period of time. It's to their benefit to keep someone in there for as long as possible where they don't have to come in and out and clean and worry about four different people within a month or eight different people within a month. They only have to deal with one person. So um, here I'm going to choose two adults. And the reason for this is. A lot of times or sometimes the price will pay depending upon how many people are going to be staying there. Now, I'm going to choose two adults and I'm actually one. Once I book, I'm going to put the name of the person that's going to come in. I've, I've read a few reviews and heard a few horror stories about people who had their girlfriend coming down or just wanted to bring somebody else up to the room and was told, nope, you can't bring anybody up. Um, but you want to have a specific name chosen for whoever's going to join you later. Hopefully, you know ahead of time. Now, if you are expecting to bring somebody to your room, then you need to work that out prior. Uh, look at the rental. Look, look at the rules for the rental and make sure that it does allow to bring someone else up to your room. But I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to choose two adults, no children, just myself. Again, the price will change. If I choose four adults, the price will probably change. So I'm going to see on the left-hand side 300 plus stays uh, that fit my bill for that date and for this amount of guests. But you want to get a little more defined. You can choose a work trip or for pleasure. But a couple other choices I'm going to make are... Uh, type of place. You can get the entire place, which means the entire home or the entire apartment. You can have a room within that where you share this common spaces such as the living room and the kitchen. Uh, sometimes it's an actual hotel room or a shared room. That's like a hostel. So I'm always going to choose entire place. So as soon as I start my search and say I'm going to choose entire place. Also, I'm concerned with the price that I want to pay for a month, it tells you the average price is in this range right here, or there's more locations for that price, which is uh, 1200 bucks, which is out of my budget. So for a month, I'm looking to, 
I'm looking to stay under six and seven hundred dollars. The reason I'm choosing eight something is because I'm going to try to get that reduced later. So click save. I still have 300 places to stay within my price range. It gives me a map of Medellin. I have it turned on. You want to use this map and, and I'm going to go over certain parts of town in a second using the map. Um, you can choose instant book. Instant book means you'll only see places where you can book immediately without having to be approved. Um, they don't care who you are, I guess, at that point. More filters. Okay, here's one other thing I'm going to choose. This is my first tip um, to choose Superhost. Now, you saw it said 300 plus locations. Let's see what happens when I turn on Superhost. Now, it's kind of some of the screens are kind of whited out, but just know it's a toggle switch to turn it on. Now it's showing me there's only 51 stays. So this is a super host is someone who's proven themselves to go above and beyond the average host. Uh, whether it's a unique location, a unique stay with uh, extra benefits, you know, such as parking or uh, let's see, wait, a gym facility, maybe in a building. It could be a hotel or an apartment. Some have gyms. You could have a sauna. Um, could be decorated uh, well or a remodel, but they've, they've gone above and beyond. They left you chocolates on your pillow and gave you a few breakfast bars and coffee and juice. I've had places leave eggs. I've had one place, a cabin we stayed at, actually uh, brought us breakfast. So if you can get that deal, go for it. So super host is what I choose. Now you see it went from over 300 to down to 51. So I'll start with this as a base. If I don't find anything within that 51, then I'll go back and take the super host off and I'll look through each one individually. I'm pretty picky when it comes to staying here. The reason to stay in an Airbnb over a hotel, a hotel is you have more space. You can cook. There should be pots and pans and plates and cups and dishwashing liquid and a place to wash your clothes. Um, not so much here. You, you have a dryer. I haven't seen too many places that have a dryer, but some do. I haven't seen too many places that have an oven, but some do. Um, I didn't have an oven or uh, a heater. Uh, I'm sorry, an oven or a dryer on my last day. So uh, you can also save, as you've seen, I've gone through here before and saved a few. Um, now, get in a hotel, you have somebody come in and change your sheets. At an Airbnb, you do not. You may have extra sheets, you may have extra blankets and pillows and so on, but you're the one that takes care of that. Now, sometimes there's an arrangement where somebody may come in once or twice a week. Uh, and do a cleanup job, somehow empty the trash or something like that. But for the most part, it's up to you. Now, I've had Airbnbs all across this country, all across the U.S., anywhere from Las Vegas to Denver, San Francisco, D.C., where New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Atlanta. I've been all across the country, pretty much every major city, major, major city, and even outside the, co uh, the country, uh, whether it's uh, Canada to Vancouver, Toronto, Mexico City, I've been to Vietnam, Dubai, Costa Rica, Amsterdam, Croatia, which is in a story of itself, London, Venice. We've been all around the world and stayed in Airbnb. So as you can tell, I, I have a lot of reviews. Now, keep in mind also that you get reviewed just like you review the place that you're staying. So you're going to want to leave it in a good, uh, good condition. So let's scroll through here. Well, before we scroll through on the left hand side, let's go to the right and look at the map of Medellin. Let me zoom in because I want to well, before I zoom in, I want to go over a few of the locations. There is a highway that runs directly through the middle of it. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Okay. And this one right here. I'm not sure the name of the street or if it says, uh, it does not say, but right next to that is another street. It's Las Vegas Avenue. And then the next one up is Poblado Avenue. Now, Las Vegas Avenue runs parallel to here. Parque Yeras is a notable location. When you look in here, when you see these two avenues that are crossed, this is El Centro. This is downtown. So I want to scoot away from El Centro. I wouldn't recommend on your first stay staying there. Maybe you want to stay for a couple of nights and take a look around. That's up to you. But Parque Yeras um, is in El Poblado, which is probably the most known area. I've been here once before. Well, I came once before about four years ago. So this is how I knew about Medellin in the beginning. Um, and I actually stayed in El Poblado on Calle, uh, uh, Calle Diez, uh, which is 10th Street, which runs directly through it, which is next to Parque Yeras, which is one of the three main nightlife areas in the city. 
There's Calle 33, which is 33rd Street. There's uh, Calle 70 on the other side of town. Uh, 33 is over here. Uh, and 70 is up by Estadio. Um, and then you have Parque Yeres, which is well known. The nightlife is popping and it's better for the younger. I'm not too young anymore, so I don't I don't get it. It's just young and drinking and prostitutes is what I see. Sometimes I'll go sit at a bar off to the side. They know me over there at a couple of places. And I get my drinks and I sit there and just watch it, but don't participate. Anyway, so I stayed here before. Let me see. Where is this Poblado or this Ayuda? Okay, so there is going to be another one over here. So, so I stayed in this area before, which is where I want to stay. Now, one thing you want to notice with this street, if you are going to Medellin, this avenue that runs uh, directly almost north and south, south through it, to the right of this highway uh, is Las Vegas Avenue, and that's where I stayed off of. Now, once you go to the right, this is all mountain, poblado, all mountain. So if you stay over there, just know you're going to be taking an Uber because you're not going to hump those hills. You can think you're in shape. I thought I was in shape, and I am in pretty decent shape, but these mountains kick my butt. Um, so on this side is more flat. So to the left of the highway is more flat. So Laureles, Belen, those areas, Estadio are going to be more uh, in the valley. And you see mountains all around the outside. It's going to be way around here. The whole city is surrounded by mountains, and that's why the weather is so good. The weather can't get to it. Um, know your metro stations. This train also aligns, I'm sorry, this highway aligns with the metro station too. So I know when I see there's going to be another one under here because I believe this is Poblado. Yeah, that's 10th Street, which runs right up next to the park. Really popping area, nice area too. But if you get off of this train stop, you will be walking up a hill to get to the Parque Yeta. So anywhere around that area. So I want to stay in this area. So I want to zoom in here and it'll only show me things that meet my criteria. Now, let's see. This should be our no, Ayura. So there's another one under here. I'm not seeing it's how it's hidden by this this price. Well, this is actually. Oh, well, no wonder. That's actually where I stayed. This is the building where I stayed. It looks almost identical to my room. It's the same host. But evidently, she owns four different apartments in here. So this is where I stayed before. Same building. I loved it. I love the view. I love the size of it. I love the cleanliness of it. I love the fact that there's a guard downstairs. It has an office as soon as you walk in. No one can get in without your permission, except for Rappi. You need to learn about Rappi, too, because Rappi delivers everything. You'll see the guys on the scooter and in the car. They will bring you food. They will bring you prescriptions. They will bring you money. That's right. It will bring you money. It's your money, but they'll, they'll bring it to you if you just don't want to leave the house. It has two small bathrooms in it, a little couch, which I see this couch all over the place, and then a bed around the corner. It's not a separate room. The entire time I was there, which was seven weeks, my windows, big wide windows on, on both sides of this, this uh, plane right here, um, and this uh, patio door stayed open. The weather is absolutely amazing. I missed now. They're on another corner from where I was. So they're facing the south, southwest. But beautiful views outside, as you can see. And it looks beautiful at night, too. Oh, she's got the same picture. <laughs> it's in my room. Uh, you have a small TV and a little tray stand right there. This is a little different with the closet. Eh, yeah, it's a little different. Wish they have the closet. I didn't have a closet here. Um, but anyway... Uh, I would not pay this amount of money for this. Oh, wait a minute. $6.95. Ooh, $7.60. Ooh, this was more expensive when I... And I want to save this. Once you click save, it's going to ask you, do you want to create a new list? But I've already started Medellin 2 because I'm headed back. And then just close it. So everything that has a heart on it now is going to be in this latest day. This gives you her reviews, 27 reviews. She has four point something stars, but she is a super host. Again, I have it filtered down to super. Ho Ooh, ninth floor, nine, 904. Wait a minute. I was 902. So this is the exact same floor, but on the other side of where I was. OK, so and I want to go over a tip later, but I want to save this one and come back to it. So I'll leave this up and running. That's interesting because I love this area. I love the fact that I would, the mountain was to the right. The mall is right here. So if you want to go up to the mall, you can walk. It's a 15, 20 minute walk. And underneath this sign is actually a metro station, Awakatala metro station. So you can hop right on, either head down to the mall this way, head to the grocery store. There's also a little grocery store behind it. My gym is up on the side of the mountain. Sometimes just getting to the gym up here was 
a workout on my way to the gym. And then two stops up and I'm in, uh, I'm in El Poblado and in Parque Lleres. Um, but anywhere you go, you can take an Uber for relatively inexpensive. Um, and I mean two to two to five dollars, really. The average is about two dollars and twenty cents, I would say. Uh, if there's a game on, meaning soccer, it's going to run a little bit long. Let me tell you that. So let's do this. Um, let's keep scrolling through. I love that location. I am happy that that's there. I already have a reputation with her. Um, she gave me a good review. I gave her a good review. Um, so let's see what we can do with that one later. But here's another one in this area. Where is this? Wait a minute. I don't see it. Okay. Normally when you hover over it, it highlights on the left. So it's over here. Um, where is that? Oh, that's a southern area. Yeah, you don't really know where it is. So I don't know the area. Now, the benefit to going here and staying a short period of time, which I've already done, is I have the benefit of having to uh, be able to go around and look at different neighborhoods. I'd already uh, always heard Laureles and Belen and Estadio and Floresta. Those areas are nice, and Poblado is expensive, of course. But being there gives you a chance to look around. So take the benefit from uh, take the lessons to the others who are already there and who have been there. Um, and post videos on YouTube, which is one of the things that got me there is, uh, I guess, Sly's Life. Let's see. Eight, this is a live. Uh, and my buddy Carlton. <clears throat> Carlton wasn't a buddy before I moved there. I watched him for months and then came there and then we just got along. Great guy. So if you get a chance, watch his video too. Uh, Carlton's Travel Adventures. Um, here we go. Where is this one? Okay, 888 is a little more expensive than I want to pay. But again, I chose a higher price because I want to see if I can't get that price lowered. Now, where is this one? Oh, it's pretty much the same spot. 800 a month. Down from 13 Again, it's marked down because it's a monthly rental. But this one looks pretty nice. Here's another thing for pictures, too. If they only have three pictures or six pictures and three of them are in the inside, don't do it because you have no idea what it's going to look like. I mean, always read the reviews, which is a, uh, another tip I'm going to give you. That's That'd be my second tip is to read the reviews. So when you do get to uh, a location that you like, read the reviews. I spend hours trying to find one, one good Airbnb. You don't have to, but I'm extra picky because this is one place I can't get up and ask for another room. If I'm in a hotel, I can do that. When I stay at a hotel, probably 50% of the time, I don't end up staying in that same room. Whether I smell smoke, one time I, I mean, because I travel a lot, more things are going to happen. One time I walked in a La Quinta and there was a bat, a bat, a bat, not a baseball bat, a flying bat. But he was <laughs> just sitting there. I don't know if he's dead or what on the ground. I took a trash can and put it on top of him and then had to go back down and switch that room. Vegas hotels, 50 percent. Almost all of them smell like smoke. Even if you get a deionizer to try to take that smoke out and you can't be in the room when, when that machine is in there. So it's, you know, this is one reason I like Airbnbs and I like reading re the reviews. Yeah, hotels have reviews, but not this defined. I find. And again, you have a dining room table, you have a kitchen. Um, hopefully you have a view. This one has a separate bedroom. That's a, not a bad little building. Now, I would like to know what the view is. Somebody's at the front desk. These people normally check IDs. They will take your passport when you come in. They would take your guest passport and won't let anybody in without uh, a showing ID. Even Rappi needs to show ID. This is not bad. See, this is why this is a super host. I mean, look, they spent time on their pictures. They give you soft towels. Um, yeah, it's not a bad. I mean, it just looks like an old, what do you call, uh, what do you call it, timeshare. This old stuff right here, but like to see what the view is. The floor is nice. The TV is nice. I mean, this is nice. This is 800 bucks. So for 800 bucks, I would contact them and try to get this for under seven. I would pay seven for this. 699. Keep in mind that they have fees associated with using Airbnb. So if they charge $800 and a cleaning fee of 20 bucks and administrative fee of 15 or whatever, they still have to pay a fee to Airbnb. So they don't get all the money that you pay them. They may do uh, for the cleaning part, but then some have companies that come in. Some people don't even own, I mean, they own the property, but they don't come in. They don't greet you. They don't bring you in. Like in Vietnam, the host met us on the corner and then walked us to our apartment, which was good because we would have been sketched out walking in. It was 
urban. It was really Vietnam. It was Vietnam, Vietnam. I'm going to post that video soon, too. Anyway, so I've gone through six, all 16 pictures. And this is really, this is not bad. So at this point, if I find a location, I go down and say, okay, the gas is taking off 500 something dollars already, which they're going to tell you. We've already discounted it. But let me tell you something. I'm in sales. And you don't get if you don't ask. Those that don't ask normally don't get. So you have to ask. And in sales, you have to ask for it. So I've chosen my four weeks. Okay, you can translate this to English normally. There are 40 reviews. Dear Dr. Moran, thank you very much for your, uh, oh, no, this, they only left excellent accommodation. I spend more time in it. And a lot of people who use Airbnbs frequently put some time into their, uh, their reviews. And the reason is we're helping each other out. So what happens is you want to get a good review too. So you don't want to dog the place, even if it's not 100%. But you can leave hints and clues to whoever is going to stay next by making statements like uh, it was at the top of the hill, which, you know, some people may have an issue with. But we loved it because we got a good workout. So it was a workout every time we went home. So at least, you know, if you don't want to walk up a hill, look for that. Uh, the Wi-Fi was great. It, it went out went out on us three or four times, but it wasn't wasn't a big deal because we weren't there, which I need to know because I work and I need the Wi-Fi. And so does my IPTV needs the Wi-Fi. So if it's going to be cutting off three or four times a day, I need to know. Uh, they could have been, oh, this place was nice. Uh, we saw a mouse run across the floor, but we don't mind mice because we have snakes at home. You know, they're going to give you a hint or a tip or something like that. So read the reviews. That's my second uh, tip again. Read the reviews. It's, it's imperative. Do not stay at one of these locations without reading the reviews. So. Let's look at more of their reviews. Oh, oh, I clicked on the person. So she's got more. He's got she or he has more than one location. Um, looks like they're in the same building, too. But let's close this because I didn't mean to click. Oh, other reviews. Oh, so she's only got one review for this one location. He or she. Luis, he's only got one review. Um, his other reviews are for his other property. So. Um, one review, you can take that for what it is. If the other place is the same and he's got all great reviews at the other location, then you could go for that too. So this is across from El Poblado on the other side of the highway down a little bit. I don't know this area too much, but I'd be willing to take a chance in this. So I'm going to save this one. Then I can close it. Okay. This one I want to keep open again. And, uh, Okay, here's another one, 730, 734. Where is this? Let's close that. 734. So this is where I stayed before. This is on the side of the mountain. Remember, this street right here that runs along here is Las Vegas Avenue. Up a little bit further is El Poblado Avenue. And the good thing about El Poblado Avenue is they close half of it on Sundays between 7 and 1, 1 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. And it's open to pedestrians and bikers and dog walkers. And there's a lot of dog walkers here, too. A lot of dogs here. Um, but anything above that is on the side of the mountain. So you will be Ubering up there. And I can kind of picture because my gym is up here. So I can picture where the buildings are. But let's let's take a look at it. It's 732. How much have they taken off already? What? Yeah, they didn't take off anything. So this is a definite one I want to ask. Ooh, it's got decent views. Okay, we're not at 13. Are these black and white pictures or what? But Okay, it's cute. It's also, yeah. Can it, I think it, I think, I think that's my building where I stayed. It should be four corners. It's over there somewhere. Um, so this is not bad. I, I like it when they give you a view. Now, does it have a balcony? Because I like balconies. Only nine pictures, cleanup materials. See, Medellin is beautiful at night. It's beautiful. It's better looking at night than it is during the day. Ah, they're washing and dry. Evidently, it's not in the, the room, but they have access to it. So, you know, most people just wash it. Oh, there's a washing machine. Most people just wash it there, but at least you can go down and dry if you're in a hurry. Or a lot of people just hang it over here, hang it over that, hang it over here. You have underwear and socks hanging everywhere. But that's Airbnb life in Medellin. Um, it's got a little desk in front of the TV. 
decent sized TV. I'm big on that too. Anyway, I've gone through all of them. So this is not a bad one. Let's go ahead and save that too. But I have to be aware that it's on the side of the mountain. Now, what I want to do is, let's say this one, for instance, and you're not obligated. It tells you about the place. It's a nice studio on the seventh floor for all the furniture you need, well dec decorated, great view of Medellin. Uh, perfect to spend a comfortable, comfortable night. So they're expecting you to stay one night. And this is why they don't have any monthly trigger in here. So this is what I want to do. It's going to give you a few things and say, do you still want to contact? Still have any questions? They gave you basic rules here. But yes, mine is going to be, uh, okay, who is this? Esteban. Esteban. So E-S-T-B-A-N. Uh, If let's see how I see that there's no Let them know I'm still looking. Looking possibility. Thank you. Spell check. Oh lord. And this just better without me even thinking of it. Just spell it right for me. Man, this I tell you, computers are making us dumber and dumber. Um, okay. Thanks in advance. And see, they'll take a look at it. They'll take a look at me. They'll see my profile. They'll see my reviews. They know I'm a good guy. They know I've stayed there before. Um, they know I've been in Medellin a couple of times already. And let's see what he can do. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for Anna. See, here's the thing with Anna. I paid here. Uh, I think it was. I think it was thirteen something, thirteen ninety something, and that was a discount for the month. So what I did was I messaged her. And I didn't know this before. You could you could do this before, uh, but uh, I saw a few videos, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So from thirteen ninety, uh, I asked her, could she do it for a thousand? You never know how much to ask. I mean, don't go too low and insult them, but I'm gonna go low enough where you have room for room to negotiate. I asked her, could she get it under a hundred? And she got it to me for nine hundred and sixty four dollars. That's a deal. That's a deal. So nine sixty. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's over $400 I saved just by asking the question. Had I just booked, uh, see, she's already given you a $120 discount already from $815, but still, <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask her again. Uh, let's see. Hi, and uh, hope this message hopefully I'm headed back <sighs> This is okay, 761. So I'm gonna ask same thing. Could you do it for 600? Never hurts to ask. She may say no, and I've already discounted it, and I gave you a discount last time. Stop asking. But I'm gonna ask again because I love that building. I love that stay. And I said if I came back, yeah, I like Laureles, but it's a lot more tourist over there. And I don't like tourists. That's just me. I came to this country to get away from Americans, so I mean, it's cool to go over there and hang out with the fellas over at the, the spot, but the spot is Sweet Georgia Cafes. If you haven't been to Medellin and you are an expat and you're going into town, you're going to want to go by there. If you want to get a piece of America, American food, American pie, 
uh, American drinks, you're going to want to go to Sweet Georgia Cafe. So look that up. Uh, look at one of my other videos, and I'm going to interview the owner, hopefully, when I get back. I missed him on my last trip. Um, uh, would you to – she's got four locations in the building for – let's see – and she doesn't maintain it. I know she has somebody else come in and clean it and so on. So the view is not the same, but I'll deal with that. Um, well, that's weird. It's on the exact same floor. Oh, I met a guy who stayed there. One, two, three, four. Does this say 604? I mean, 904? It's, I saw it somewhere. But I know exactly which apartment this is because I met a guy, and this guy was from the U.S. He was actually from D.C. He stayed in this apartment. It was almost it was catty corner to mine, next to the train chute, but the trash chute. But that's okay. Um, with this part for six hundred dollars. Let's see. Let's cross our fingers because 600 is a good price for that because, heck, I got the last one for nine something for seven weeks. So done. She will reply soon. She's pretty quick to follow up. So now I can get rid of this. But it is 904. One, two, three, four. Yep, I know exactly. So this is what his apartment looked like. Uh, looked identical to mine. <laughs> uh Got a washing machine. And if you notice, above the washing machine, there's a rack. And that's where you hang what little bit of underwear and stuff. And you hang socks off of here. And you hang your underwear off of here. And off of here. And off of here. Anyway, I love the location. So I would definitely stay there again. And I'll put that in my review for her, too. But there you go. There's an idea. So so there's the three tips. The first tip is to choose Superhost. The second one is reading uh, the reviews in detail is at least read through 10. Some are short and quick. So just read through 10. If, once you find a location that you'd like to stay at um, and then mes message the host for a special price would be the third one. They will send you messages and you'll see the little ball pop up there. So I think this is for this is some place. Six minutes ago. Let's see what Maria says. I probably asked for a discount. Oh, and this is uh, this is a lady that had a place that had a balcony but didn't have a rail, so it was closed. Okay, this is just letting me know. She sent me a, an, an invitation to book her place. I emailed her or messaged her a couple of days ago. Is the balcony finished yet? Because I, you know, it'd be cool. And I also asked her about the price. <laughs> you have to ask, guys. You got to ask. So that'll let you know that you had some messages in there. Um, I guess I have another one there, too. One other thing I want to show you before I go is a, cert a couple of parts of town again, too. Let me zoom out. One thing you can tell by looking at this map. Let me zoom in. I want to go around Laureles. Everybody hears about Laureles and Belen. So let me zoom in. Okay, here's Laureles right in the mi middle. The closest train station that I found is Estadio. I think it's under this price right here. Now, I can walk over to here around by Sweet Georgia Cafe. Took me maybe 25 minutes stroll, just a stroll. Nice coffee shops, nice neighborhoods, a lot of residential neighborhoods and apartments and not super high rises, but maybe a five story to eight story buildings, uh, three to five to eight, some homes. But this area right there's a street, there's Calle 33 which runs in the middle of here. There it is, Avenue 33. This runs into the middle of it. So as you come around, you can see it's divided. Laureles on this side. And I don't know about these other cities, but when you hear these areas, you hear only Berlin and Laureles that I'm familiar with. So I think this is the dividing one, uh, 33. So uh, Sweet Georgia Cafe is over here somewhere. But Calle uh, Avenida, Avenida 33, which is Calle 33, is like a popping spot for the young younger crowd, but it's bar, 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 ATM, bar, 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 bank, ATM, um, nightclub, bar. When I say bar, um, now you can also go over here near Estadio and it's Calle 70, which I think is 
running this way. I'm not 100% sure, but that's more of an older crowd. So in Havana, the club is over there, but this is a good location if you are old and you want to get out and get your groove on. Um, I've only been to one place over there, and that's Son of Honor, too. I didn't go out that much. <clears throat> well, just over to the spot to hang out over there, and then back home, maybe, uh, you know, some uh, experiences. Because you can not only choose lodging, but you can choose experiences through here also, which I would encourage you to do. Um, shop the prices first. I'm going to have some recommendations um, on a few tour guides to use. If you want to go paragliding, paragliding was uh, the bomb. Is it paragliding? Paragliding? Parasite? Paragliding, yeah. Well, you just go and you jump off the side of this mountain. You are tandem, so somebody's connected behind you, and you just float for like 20 minutes. Amazing. And I've jumped out of a plane before. This was much, much better because you're up there for longer. You come down quick from a plane. Like in this area, Estadio, so if you're here, Estadio is good. La Floresta up, yeah, here it is right here. Around this area is residential. It reminds me like a neighborhood maybe in Manhattan uh, with a bunch of low rises too. Shops and food and, you know, good price uh, locations too. So uh, check this area out also. But for the most part, a lot of the expats go to Laureles. And the whole place is really safe as far as I'm concerned. Um, so you can't go wrong there. But let me zoom out a bit. But use this as a landmark right here, this hook around here. So anywhere in here, you're good. Um, I would definitely stay over here. You're further away from Poblado and all of that, and you're further away from the location I was at. Uh, but still, it's a cheap, for me to get over to there was a cheap Uber ride. Sometimes they go this way. For the most part, they go up the highway and cut across. Traffic is a beast. So depending upon what time of day you take that Uber, it may take you a bit Poblado's up here, literally 10 minutes, and that's a $2, $1.95 Uber ride during normal times anyway. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, please uh, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to follow up with it. Please like and subscribe my channel. It's very important for me to grow my channel. I, I have 75 subscribers right now. I started a little over two months ago, and before the end of August, I hope to have 100 and by the end of this year, I'd like to have a thousand. So please be part of my first 100. Please, uh, if you're in this video and you made it this long, please go to the bottom and click the like button. Very important for me. I, I don't get seen if you don't click the like. Others don't get to see me that much. Put it that way. Um, and subscribe. If you hit the subscribe button and you click that bell, then you're alerted every time I post a new video. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.